March of 2014, the largest landslide in U.S. history devastated the community of Oso, Washington. It wiped out 300 acres of family homes and killed 43 people, two of which were schoolmates of a young girl named Lily. Lily is 10, and she's experienced a ton of trauma in a short life. Around the time of the landslide, she lost three family members. Lily was holding so many emotions that she felt trapped and helpless. And then Lily found Art with Heart. That's us. My name is Heidi, and I'm the CEO of Art with Heart, and we use art to help kids facing trauma or adversity to heal. So, why art? Well, mounting research suggests that the act of creating art, even just looking at art, like we're doing right now together, is good for the brain. It lowers cortisol levels in the brain, which lowers stress, which helps regulate emotions. And art has this magical way of connecting what's in the head, heart, and hands, like no other method that exists, which is important because trauma is stored in the visual part of the brain, not the narrative part. So making art is actually essential for kids to express things that are inexpressible verbally. So, 20 years ago, we took that incredible power of art and we built a portfolio of therapeutic activity books for kids kindergarten all the way through high school. Our books are so unique because they were created by world-class artists and wicked smart therapists. So they're both beautiful and powerful. We also created curricula for the adults working with kids. Our curricula is so turnkey. We call it our playbook for practitioners because we've literally thought of everything. Things like aligning the art activities in our books with national school standards, to creating sample lesson plans if you only have two days at a grief camp with kids or maybe a whole summer. But here is where the magic happens. Art, curricula, trained adult facilitator meets struggling kid armed with brush and paint who's able to connect what's in the head and heart and with the stroke of a brush express and release what's been trapped inside. Which is important because remember, trauma is stored in the visual part of the brain, not the narrative part, so making art of any kind is essential for scared, pent-up kids to express and let go of their pain. Landslides. Physical ones like Lily experienced, or internal ones that may feel closer to home, they happen all the time. 100,000 kids in Washington state are suffering. Every hour a child is neglected or abused. Around the country, 35 million kids, half of American children have been exposed to trauma of some kind. So our challenge is, how do we make meaningful impact with as many kids as possible through trained adult facilitators? Well, I was brought in a year ago to help us scale our 20 years of direct one-to-one -one implementation and proving our books work. Recently, we shifted to a train-the-trainer model where we're using our curricula and we're training leaders at organizations already working with kids, like the Boys and Girls Club. This one-to-many approach, as you can see, has increased our reach and impact significantly. However, it's not enough. What keeps us up at night is our desire to scale and accelerate our impact because real kids are in need. You heard the numbers, and we know that digital is the key to unlocking our ability to helping millions of kids like Lily to heal. So, the innovation we're introducing tonight is we want to take this curricula, our playbook for practitioners, currently in a three-ring binder, which is a huge barrier to scale, and we want to put that online so anyone in the world who wants access has access. So here's what we're doing. We are asking the generous SVP community for $300,000. This is going to get us a team of Solomon Khan-like thinkers and online learning innovators for a year to design, develop, and launch an engaging learning platform that delivers useful, dynamic content to adults working with kids around the world in their own language, on their own time. This $300,000 is the one-time investment we need to get this platform built and launched. And it's a win-win because it's going to drive earned revenue from online sales of our books and curric curricula, 
which is going to fund our future innovation and fuel our sustainability as an organization. I have this incredible team who's here tonight, who is poised for this next chapter of growth. And my 15 years working at Starbucks, helping us scale globally, has taught me the importance of staying true to the mission and making decisions that drive enduring organizational impact. Our work is backed by this respected group of mental health advisors, including our founder, because art works. Remember Lily? Lily is now using art to help her cousins and friends process their emotions. And she's thriving in school and in life. Together we can break the cycle of trauma. Together we can empower millions of kids like Lily to believe in themselves and that all is possible. Thank you.